hello guys uh, so welcome back to my channel uh, so today we are going to um, see a uh, modern uh, char uh, by using a well made future so and it's not only a well made future we have also gonna see a lot of you know uh, new futures which will help you to design more uh, which you are not aware of that but if you are an advanced like you may be having some idea of uh, how to use all the features but uh, yeah so without wasting much time let's start with a new part so here we go uh, with a new part so yeah i'm gonna uh, do with the uh, you know a uh, kind of a structure which i'm going to make in a side view so that uh, as you can see in the thumb line the same way like before then i will just make the center lines or i have created uh, some features like a center line all these things like that also can be used in the macro but yeah so i'm gonna do with this center line i mean like sorry the infinity length yes make this right now i'm gonna make a kind of an arc which is important Feature here before like I'll start with the inch so this time I'm gonna make a inch version so I'm just want to make sure that has to be in the inch so yes and also like this this both strain each other <coughs> So I'm gonna make this arc should be 35 inch and the total height is looking for 30 inch and this height we will make for roughly uh, seven but we have to trim it slightly so I'll just make eight for now and then from here to here somewhere around 15 and okay this got constrained so what i'm going to do is i will make this both our equal and yes i'm gonna make this two into 12 inch yeah that makes sense and then i will try to make this both our align yes i think this this both we will make as a vertical yeah so now our uh, chair structure is ready i mean the uh, uh, wireframe is ready so from here we are gonna make a structural uh, a tube i can say so for that i'm gonna select a well means so we'll go with the structural membrane so here we have already a default or selection so like with i'm gonna select with the ANSI and square tube with the different sizes so i'm gonna with the two by two so yeah I'll, I'll select this yes exactly this is what i need and uh, i'll go with this okay maybe i can go with a new group if i do it will be like you know it may hit and it will go that so what i'll do is i will just not create here clear the section i'll just create one let it be like this and what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna select this face i'm gonna select a sketch here and i'm gonna copy the same and go with a, a new uh, structural membrane yes this is what i was looking for and i'm gonna select okay yes or even i can do that actually it's not an issue but you can go for a new so it is now it's going to interfere with that so we'll go with the direct editing and memory options so we'll select this we'll have this made option so if you want if you have an idea how much it has to be more you can use this translate or rotation now we have a option called a constraint so i'm gonna use this face and this face so that it will automatically sit over here it will align with this face so i'm going like the uh, okay i'm gonna hide this face here perfect so this looks good 
and now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna extend this face to make sure this to be landed or I can should be grounded with this face so uh, for example we're gonna extend this 10 uh, inch yes and this is our top line and I'm gonna create on 7 inch as I said before when I'm creating a sketch I'm going to make this as a trimmed so now we are going to use a, a split option where I'm going to do a direct editing and then I'm going to split this face so this is my plane and this is a select body these are the two bodies which I want to split so now I'm going to create cut bodies so I want to cut these two bodies I'm going to select that so in order to remove these two body we have to enable this option where you can come down and consume cut bodies if you are not enabled this will be remain same with the multiple body so always enable this in order to delete these two bodies which is you don't want that yes perfect so looks good so now I'm going to do an end cap option to close these holes so I'm gonna select these faces and now if you see uh, you know it got closed but you have more interference so I'm gonna do this corner treatment and double select 0.5 or maybe 0.3 yeah that makes sense with the proper gap if you want you can just give a gap and thickness also you can maintain as per this so you have a multiple options like if you want an external you can give an external or you can if you want still without multiple <coughs> options you can try so i just want to be inside so i just selected that face so like that you can select all the faces similarly to close all the holes so that it will be like the dust particles will not get an inside so you can do this as a laser cut and I can fill it while manufacturing or welding okay now I'm gonna select okay so now it's properly closed now so this one side it got ready so we have to do the mirror option so for that I'm gonna select this face or right okay and say like right plane I'm gonna do a offset maybe your 10 mm so 30 or 10 inch so that it will be overall we have 20 inch to create a you know the other side of the frame so here i'm going to select the mirror option and going to select the bodies so i'll select a control a or maybe i can drag and drop means i can just drag it so that all the body will be get selected so totally we have five bodies it could select it and I'm gonna select OK so now this is quite ready so now we have to merge these two frames so that it will be like as a single frame so for that I'm gonna create a sketch over here and yes so I just want to make sure this uh, pipe could be a uh, one inch yes so yeah from the tight it will be like again one inch this could be the center so yeah I think uh, we can make yeah, it looks good okay this is center of that but similarly we have to create for this because this, this we have to make as a tangent so I'm gonna make a wireframe so the similar pipe I'm going to place over here and here yes even you can make a offset of somewhere around 0.25 it will be like this looks okay maybe we just make maintain all this how uh, I mean the pipe equal uh, as a one inch so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make clearance make this a center approximately yes should not touch each other like it will be a, like you know some clearance which we have to make here so that it will not get a flip in the top or in the bottom so this is how it work for this frame for the 
mainframe so i'm going to create a pipe you can also use a pipe or a solid or you know a rod so i'm going to extrude up to the surface i'm going to select up to surface so yes and then select ok so yes now this pipe is ready so for this frame we got connected of three frames so that will be fine so now for this we are going to create a two work pipes over here so that for that i'm going to select these two face and i'm going to create yes same on each pipe and from this height i'm going to create one inch gap let it be on inch yes and then approximately we'll make center of this fillet yes and again this could be the pipe i'm going to make the same dia equal to and now this could be the one inch We'll make like this. Yep. I think uh, we can make cut two inch, and we'll uh, just try to just here. Yes, that makes quite decent height. Yes. Now I'm gonna select extrude up to the surface, and gonna select OK. So the overall of frame is ready. So now. Uh, we are gonna make a, a wood a plywood to make a, you know a looks a more aesthetic and of the how we used to rest our body so for that i'm gonna make a you know the wood plywoods over here so for that i'm gonna create or i think i can select this surface yes and yeah and this could be our you know the arc uh, which the play would has to get some slightly bend over here so yes this looks good and we'll make as a play would approximately i can say yep three inch could be the decent height yes three height three inch and i'm gonna select uh, extrude up to the surface and uh, we'll make a thickness of 0.5 inch and yes this could be our plywood i'm gonna select ok so in order to fix this to in this uh, you know a frame so we're gonna make a two holes so that in this you can make a drill and make a tap holes over in the frame while you know mounting this uh, plywood so for that approximately i'm going to make two holes in this frame so here i'm gonna select this front plane and i will create a center and between this frame we'll select this yep so and i'm gonna select this hole create a 0.5 or probably 0.65 holes should be fine yes and i will do the same hole for that i'm going to create a center line to mirror this hole so i don't want to waste my time and yours as well okay now the hole is ready so we'll create a extrude through hole but before for that we have to answer light i'm going to select only this body has to hug it a hole actually yep. looks good if you feel hole is too big you can, you can reduce still like you know 0.5 should be fine yes now what i'm going to do is i will use a circular pattern yes uh, this is my axis or uh, face where i just want to create a multiple bodies reverse and uh, this angle will try to make it as 5 degree or yeah probably 6 degree and i want a six more, more number yeah this looks good for body to get rest on the plywood so that okay 
perfect so same thing i'm gonna do with here but for that i'm gonna go to select this because i need to arrest this you know uh, this frame so for that i'm gonna use the same uh, face to create a plywood for this particular radius so yes i'm gonna just drag it you know to select this body again through inch this looks good and i'm gonna create yes up to the surface so that will get arrest select okay so in order to mix this into two holes so i'm gonna select top plane Select oops, this since it's a curvature face, curvature face, so we cannot sketch on that. So we have to go with the curvature sketch 3D, it will take more time. So better we'll go with the top line. So we'll go with wireframe. Yep. Now we'll select these two lines yep. and go with this center line. Yes, perfect. So I'm gonna create a again 0.5 make sure to constrain yes exactly so again i will try to create a center line and go with the sketch select okay perfect so now we are going to create a hole to the top of that so again i have to select this a plywood and to make the only for that particular thing so yep good so again we'll try with a circular pattern select this face or an edge and go with this body and flip it so now i just want six degree we gave yes so it will be overlapped so we'll try to reduce I think uh, three should be fine or four should be fine so that it will come and hit yep. uh, maybe you can go with 6.5 slightly it will hit yeah so try to make it six degree 6.1 6.25 yes so this might be good and if you want you can change the color as a default so i'm just gonna make a, a plain carbon steel for this and i will just give up white yes so for this so for the making color of that or maybe yeah, i can make this body be wood looks good and for this I'm gonna create the same material with a black color yep I think we are done with this design so yeah uh, thanks uh, for watching this uh, video uh, please do comment and uh, just let me know if you have any queries in the mail or you, know, you can just uh, mention the queries in the command section i'm always ready to help with you guys so i will catch up you in another interesting video until then bye